I need a place, a window to film like this every morning. Good morning guys, welcome to the second day of the press trip with sea trip and juicy trip here in Beijing. Yeah! Ling Ling is so excited because we got the blue sky again! And today we're going to the wall. Uh, to be honest, it's not my favorite place of the world because it's usually very touristy and uh, very renovated, like it looks too nice. <laughs> I like the more, you know, old style world. But anyways, uh, many of the other bloggers here have, um, it's the first time here in China, so of course you have to go and see that. So that's what we're going to do first and then later on we're going to go to um, a traditional Chinese medicine university here in Beijing, which is going to be really interesting. I want to dig more into this, like I don't know much about tra traditional Chinese medicine, but I feel after this press trip I'm like, I need to, you know, learn more because maybe I could fix some of uh, my stomach issues just by drinking some herbal tea or something. I know we've been talking about this before in the comments, so yeah, I know, I should really look into it. So it's going to be really cool and then we're going to have dinner later on and then I'm going to go home to my university again. We're at the breakfast buffet and this is how the Chinese are socializing with each other. Phone, 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 and phone. So we're just inside here now and getting ready to go up, 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 up. We are at the Great Wall now and it's so beautiful, but it's also icy, icy cold. Chinese just posing. Wow, the light is brutal here. Right now I'm in the cable car on my way down from the Great Wall. Um, I lost the whole group like two minutes after getting up there because I was filming and then I turned around and I was like, oh, nobody's here anymore, damn it. <laughs> so I've just been walking around on my own for a bit. I just couldn't find them. There are so many people there and the Great Wall is really big. So yeah, anyways, I took some pictures and uh, now I'm just going down to buy some souvenirs for a friend friends and family at home and uh, yeah it's just a beautiful day today like oh you can see for the sun there we go blue sky is stunning I love China especially on these days it's amazing mm. and now it's time for souvenirs <laughs> it's impossible for me to find a place where I can actually see something and not be in the shadow or like I try to work with the natural light but the natural light is so hard right now oh my god so anyways just want to talk to you guys for two seconds I'm here at the Great Wall and I see the IEs who sell uh, souvenirs here all day and of course they put up the prices and um, yeah I'm really off my bargaining game <laughs> before I would I would be able to bargain it down to the craziest lowest price ever but now I just don't I just don't I just um I don't know, I think it's because I just read a book about migrant workers in China and I just realized how hard they um, work and how hard their lives are and these villagers who work here sell souvenirs all day that's the only thing they do and that's the only income they have and I don't know if these I, I think this is a good place to sell your stuff but the same yesterday at the Forbidden City so many poor people selling on the street and I'm just like you know what the money <clears throat> like the difference between paying 10 or 20 quite for like one or two dollars um for a scarf like the difference is not that big for me you know and um yeah i just hope that i hope that giving them a little bit more money will make their lives easier um yeah if i think too much about it i just oh i don't know i feel really i feel really bad that i've been so lucky to be born into a a family without financial problems and a country where we have what we need you know so staying here it just uh, gives me this uh, reality check I think many people in Denmark they need that uh, they're missing out on that and now I'm going back to the bus and uh, our next stop is uh, lunch yeah 
I'm gonna wait for the other guys, of course. <laughs> I found my bus and I can see that Shifu, the driver, <laughs> he's sleeping. Can you see his feet? I wonder if that can be comfortable to lay like that. <laughs> We're just taking uh, beautiful pictures with Sea Trip and Juicy Trip here. <laughs> uh, my name is Han Yu and I'm master of Chinese uh, material medica. They can help to lose weight and also for cosmetic treatment. Crazy. We're gonna have dinner at the yeah Imperial Palace restaurant. I think that's what they said it was called. It's supposed to be dinner and some kind of biaoyan, some kind of show as well. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> that's the rich guys here. Help to get out, park in front of the door. Oh my lord! <laughs> just just posing a little bit for his audience. <laughs>